for a soulless mankind it profits now the knell of the death bell for it means that if our planet can take in new energy and if the electromagnetic field or frequency barrier barrier can be altered so that higher frequencies can come in and that pineal gland kicks in then you will be once again in tune with your planet and mankind having no soul having only the ability to report to the Lord God master will go crazy and begin to dysfunction and do crazy things human who is part of both will begin to question and try to follow its higher source and the whole thing will lead to tremendous wars or tremendous conflagrations. the war will last no time if the sons of God can awaken to who they are because once they get in tune with the planetary head the planet will do whatever they as a unit ask for that is what some of the Yoruba people understood what the magicians understand and in a small way try once more to get in frequency with the slower heavens just above where they live or on their continent or the elemental kingdom can obey it was meant that the sons of God being of the seed of angels didn't have to even do that they could summon they could call forth they could put aside but before any of that could be done they had to first come into the consciousness and frequency of who they were again I kind of repeat what I said when I was here before this summer you will hear and starting this summer probably for the next three years about the sunspot activity being on the increase you begin to hear more again about solar activity prominences all types of energy from the Sun that will be very harmful you'll hear about ultraviolet light burning tissue and melanomas and carcinomas affecting the blood and the skin of people on earth for the sons of God who have an active pineal that will be a day of blessing for it will not affect you you will not be burned you will simply darken and the melanin growing it's almost like a vicious cycle to make you more and more powerful as they get cancers of the skin and glands you will get glands beginning to awaken and throwing out the frequencies that are not good and reconnecting the DNA molecules that were separated for at one time we had 12 strands of DNA now we have two how could we function as an advanced God or being when we don't even have the right hookup we can't go to 220 we've got to stay at 110 120 that will activate the glands to begin to work on the molecules of the cells and the cells DNA will begin to unite what they call junk DNA is not junk DNA it is where it all got blasted apart and now like an amoeba it will be coming together again and each cell in your body blueprint will begin to vibrate faster as you become once what you were the true sons of the God for man to be man at this time man must understand his feminine counterpart that is within him his animal counterpart that is within him the angel and God counterpart that is within him and his own soul blueprint which is him that's why you will find people undergoing hypnosis past life recall flashbacks of things and intuitively that they didn't know happened but they'll begin to see their past lives come forth people that they meet that they'll be drawn to and they don't know why places that they'll go and they'll go to and they don't know why but each time you'll find that there's a benefit that comes when you follow that mind because it will be something of an experience that will help to reawaken you you must remember who you were you must work with the DNA's in order for the DNA's to begin to entwine together we speak of the tetratomation which of course Jewish people cannot affirm they will not say the name Yahweh they will not say Yad Hevate they will not say any of those things because they were not the chosen for this energy they were usurpers and interpreters of the books of magic without the soul to contend with them but the soulless ones 
and the soul ones were both asleep. Now when we understand that as this pineal gland flashes more and more, as the pyramid begins to also begin to glove off sounds and the sphinx begins to vibrate, that it is only a sign that the sons of God are calling forth their fathers and the angels are now being summoned to return. When they come back, the sky will be full of spaceships. Some are already there and seen by those who can see in that frequency, others never see them. When that happens, all granite formations in, on, and around our earth will begin to give off sounds and vibrations. It will be a sign. With that will increase mighty earthquake and volcanic activity. It has to be that way. And if you happen to live on a fault line, you best move. If you hold back further the retardation of this planet, you are not serving the planet and the planet cannot serve you. You'll always be told once you're a psychic when to move on and what to avoid. And the more you come in tune with the lines of force coming into our planet, the more will be your radio that is built in that will operate and you will just know what to do or what to avoid. You'll know who to trust and who to accept. You'll know when you're powerful and when you're weak and you'll know what to do to increase either one. The thing is, will you follow that inner voice and that inner sign? To conclude the part of the man lecture. Man is separate from mankind who is an invention by the Lord God. The Lord God is a planetary ruler as each planet has rulers and this one went a little bit berserk because of things that happened which we'd have to talk about which is under the science called cosmology. It has nothing to do with the first cause, cause God a creator. Please do not say that I said that. We're talking about advanced beings who from time to time see the planet and from time to time even interfere with the planet and now they must move on. The creation that was here that went through all of this will be double rewarded because the souls that choose to incarnate at this time, which we call children, and have incarnated for the last 40 years, the advanced triggers now will be rewarded for what they came here and suffered greatly through to get the job done and to show again that the angels could return. Children are our key. That's why the state wants to run your children, disrupt your home, and do everything it can to stop that soul from awakening and being the mighty army that they were sent here to be. This is where we must talk to women and mothers. We must talk to the man, however, because in many cases it is the boy child that is the one that will carry forth the great ruler out of which his continents will come, that the angels will walk through and work through, and whose chamber will awaken just as the Sphinx and Pyramid is awakening. Let me just say this as I conclude the first part. They not only have found the same Sphinx on Mars, as Zulu also told you, but on the moon, on Jupiter, and everywhere they go, the same Sphinx stares them back. The sons of God did not just come to the earth. They are the masters of our solar system and our constellation. Just as in Star Wars there was wars between the good and bad, there was a war here on earth. They hid that book from the Bible, The Wars of the Lords. They hid all of the things that would let you begin to understand that you were different from the other races of Earth, and Earth was your home, not theirs. But now that you can come into consciousness, you won't have to worry about getting out in the street with AKAs, going out in the street and shooting them up. You can carry more power that will stop any bullets from being fired. You can cause earthquakes to happen or not. You can cause fire to actually come from the sky. And I'm not trying to compliment you because misuse will burn you up too. It's just a simpler way of understanding as you're beginning to come into your own, certain conditions are necessary.